This model represents a lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes directly behind Earth and into its shadow. This can only happen when the sun, Earth, and moon are exactly or very closely aligned. A lunar eclipse can occur only when there is a full moon. In my model, you'll see that the sun, Earth, and moon are aligned. Um, there will be a shadow called the umbra and a shadow called the penumbra. The umbra is a full dark shadow and the penumbra is a partial outer shadow. And I'll explain that more when doing the model. Because the moon's orbit around the earth lies in a slightly different plane than earth's orbit around the sun, perfect alignment for an eclipse doesn't occur at every full moon. There are three types of lunar eclipses. A total lunar eclipse is when the earth's full shadow falls on the moon. During a partial eclipse, the sun, earth, and moon are not quite perfectly aligned and earth's shadow falls only on part of the moon. The penumbral eclipse is when the moon is in the earth's penumbral shadow. So in this demonstration, we're going to have the light source represent the sun. And the sun's light is on this half of the tennis ball representing the earth. So this represents the side that is experiencing day and this represents the side that's experiencing night. And they'll see the moon, which is represented by this ping pong ball. And since from the Earth's perspective, you can only see half of the moon, we're keeping it simple and using the side with the logo on it to represent the side that the Earth can see. So, during a lunar eclipse, the moon will revolve and rotate counterclockwise as usual. And it happens during a full moon. But, they, but the Earth, Sun, and Moon have to be perfectly aligned. So now we've come to a partial eclipse. And in a partial eclipse, part of the Moon is covered by Earth's shadow. Then we move to a total lunar eclipse, where the, enti well, the entire Moon that the Earth can see is covered by Earth's shadow. Then we come back out and the moon is visible again. Going back, just to explain what I said in my earlier video, this shadow here is called the umbra and this is called the penumbra, which I explained in the earlier video. My next model represents a solar eclipse. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon gets between the earth and the sun and the moon casts a shadow over earth. A solar eclipse can only take place at the phase of the new moon when the moon passes directly between the sun and earth and its shadow falls upon the earth's surface. This time the sun, moon, and earth are in line in that order. Total solar eclipses are rarer than lunar eclipses because earth casts a much bigger shadow on the moon during a lunar eclipse than the moon casts on earth during a solar eclipse. This is why I'm using a bigger ball for Earth this time and a bigger ball for the Moon this time. I'll be shooting from the Earth's per perspective, so the Earth will not be visible in the demonstration. This is the partial solar eclipse. This is the total solar eclipse. 